Good morning, I am Clemens Valens of Electro.Labs and today I receive I have a special guest, Louis Oosterhof, Hello. who is here to present his DMX system. His DMX system is a special system because it has 60 universes and this is uh, new for most of our readers because normal systems only have one universe. Okay, Louis, can you explain a bit about your system? Um, well, my system consists of uh, one PCB, as you can see it. It's made of the microprocessor and some drivers, so it's very easy to uh, build, also for people who have not much uh, experience with electronics. All the components can be bought in the shop um, for a reasonable price. It's about uh, 100 euros or dollars or whatever. Um, everything that the user has to do is only uh, use the soldering side over here, which is very easy, no SMDs, so everyone can do that. You can see here eight outputs and here eight outputs. And I have made some software over here where you can um, send the information from the computer to the DMX fixtures. And the special thing is that it has 16 outputs. Huh? Yes. Can you uh, say something more about that? Why is it special? Um, it's special because you, it's very rare on the market. Mostly you have only one universe, so that means one output. Um, if you have a lot of money, you can buy one with about four outputs, and that's it. And maybe there are more, but I couldn't find them on the internet. Um, this one has 16, so that's a lot of one, uh, well, and it's very cheap. How many channels do you have now? Each uh, DMX has 512 channels, so multiply by 16 is blah blah a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and what kind of, uh, you have a small uh, microcontroller here, what kind of microcontroller is that? And this is a ready-made board from uh, Microelectronics, and it consists of a PIC32, it's a 32-bit processor. Why did you choose that one? Because if you want to... Um, send all the information uh, at the same time over 16 channels, you need a very fast processor. 8-bit uh, couldn't do the job. Okay, and but you could have taken an ARM processor? Yes, you could take an, a lot of uh, brands, because there are a lot of brands. Uh, I have chosen for um, uh, microelectronics in the first place, because I already have a development system oh. for them. and they have this processor yeah. ready-made, so it's very easy to use for hobbyists like me. Okay. And can you show us that it is really working? I mean, you have two lights here. <laughs> they are on, they are burning. Mm, yes. Um, can you change the color, for instance? I could try. As you can see here, I have made a demonstration program. All the universes are um, present. I have connected these two fixtures on universe number five. So I have opened universe number five. When you click it's on this window. It's this window, if you click on the right channel, then it pops up. And then you can here change the channels. You have to click this on, and then it's actually sending the information to the so this fixture. this window controls one la uh, light. I hope so. You can see, you can see this one moving now. You see? Yeah, it changes in yeah, the it's red. It's changing the red color. And now I will change the something the else. Green from, and the blue. Uh, whatever. You can change any channel you want, and it depends on the fixture that you have uh, connected, what happens, of course. Okay, very nice. And you wrote all the software yourself? Yes. And what did you write this software in? Which uh, programming language? Uh, you can see it over here, Visual C++. Okay, uh, it's, I don't think you can oh, see it. Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> so I say it. So this was, uh, <coughs> the microcontroller was written in the micro, uh, micro C. Yes. For PIC32. You also brought the schematics. Maybe I can show them quickly to the camera. A sneak preview. <laughs> can you see this? So, it's gone. Yeah, okay. Uh, for people who want to um, make their own software, I um, have created um, some sort of protocol. It's made of a lot of bits and bytes, and by just sending bytes from the computer to the microprocessor, you can uh, 
change all the channels yourself with your own software if you would okay, like yeah, that. You wrote the specifications for the yes. protocol between <coughs> the PC and, yes. uh, and the system. So everyone who doesn't like my software, you can write his own software and then use this PCB. Okay. I have um, put some extra output, and that's a trigger output. So you can easily connect uh, the oscilloscope to the PCB. And with the trigger output, you always get a steady signal of the DMX output. Okay. So it's very easy to debug when it doesn't work. Yeah? It also has a speed, inc a speed decrease. So normally the speed of the DMX is um, 250 kilohertz. Yes. But you can lower it down to about uh, 2 hertz. So then you can connect a LED with a resistor and you can see the signal flashing in the LED. Okay. So even for people who do not have a scope, they can check the DMX signal. And the debugging is also controlled from the PC side? Yes, uh, just um, in my program I have made a little part over here. Sorry, I have to close this first. Over here. Here you can type in all the commands, and then you said, say send, and then you can do all the manual commands that you need for the software to control the complete PCB. Okay, very good. Yes? Okay, well, thank you very much, Louis. Thank you for this uh, presentation. I wish you... You're welcome. I hope we, have to, we will see this soon in the, the magazine.